Welcome to Dangerous Grounds Network, the number one online radio network, 100% American badass, sponsored by Madison Rising, King's Hollows, The Veteran Exchange, Combat Flip Flops, Branded Warriors Inc., Black Rose Tattoos. The Dangerous Grounds Network is here to give Americans a chance to be heard, play badass music, and to help all those in need with information. All our hosts have a great mind and knowledge to bring to you all. Anyone can come as a guest. Email us at dgn1980 at my.com and let's see what you've got. As we always say, let's get dangerous. From Jackson, by the way, Mississippi. Yes. Why did you join my army? Because I ain't got to worry about saying no more about the cross. Just odd. No shit. Who was the chief of staff of the United States Army? That'll be that white fella, General West Marley, dress all Close your fucking mouth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Drop and give me 20 maggots. Yes, sir. A company always on the run. A destiny. The rising sun. I was born a shotgun in my hands. Behind the gun, I'll make my final stand. Yeah, and that's why they call me.
What's up, everybody, and welcome to another pointless edition of Barracks Lawyers on Super Bowl Sunday. As always, we have Big Country. Yo, yo. And old VX4 himself, Mr. Garrett Howell with us. Hey, we're still doing this show? Yeah, yeah, dude, we're still doing it. <laughs> Who knew? Got old uh, old Chris Ripka in the chat with us. He's he's starting to starting to stalk me a little bit, and I must say, guys, I, I actually have become very aroused, <laughs> making me happy. <laughs> Is your wife playing with your balls? Nice, nice to see you, though, Chris. Nice to see you, as always. So. On this show, you guys all know we don't ever fucking prepare for anything because that's the way things are supposed to be when you get out of the military. Absolutely no structure. None. Whatsoever. <laughs> so, being that I have absolutely no topics to speak about today, we're going we're gonna to dive into the Super Bowl a little bit because I think we all know one thing in America. And no, that's not that Tom Brady and the Patriots are probably going to win this. What we do know is that tonight, Philadelphia is getting fucked up one way or the other. So to all the cops, all the paramedics, you know, all the National Guardsmen who are going to be called in, we applaud you. You're just brave people going out there to deal with these fucktards tonight. Because either way, this city is going to burn. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I was thinking the same fucking thing it don't matter they got a reason to fuck it up anyway <laughs> either you're happy or you're fucking pissed <laughs> I'm, I'm either, either way they're going to destroy the city celebrating or they're going to destroy the city pissed off it's just the Eagles way it's what Philadelphia does it doesn't matter what sport it is except for maybe soccer I don't think they fuck anything up over soccer because they don't know how to play soccer <laughs> but you know I mean it's uh, it's going to be interesting one way or the other you know personally while everyone else is watching the game I'm going to be waiting for that live stream from like Fox CNN MSNBC yeah police police have a uh, Cordoned off all of Philadelphia tonight. We're just waiting to see what happens. It's going to be the next Ferguson. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> Brotherly love just went to hell tonight. <laughs> just saying. Uh, yeah, dude, that, that shit went out the window. Yeah, no brotherly love tonight. <laughs> so, Garrett, having a law enforcement background, what do our National Guardsmen with a whole five minutes of training that are probably going into this tonight – what should they be thinking about? What should be on their mind? Oh, man. I don't know. If if it does go down like that tonight, it's going to be a shit show because it's just going to be, you know, uniform people going after civilians and they're not going to know who's not doing what and who is. And there's going to end up being fucking videos come Monday morning oh, yeah. of police brutality and all this shit. But, man, I don't, I don't know. They just need to do their 525s, keep their eyes open. I agree. You know, that I, – I agree too. And, you know, it, it is going to be a shit show tonight. And for for those of you, you know, in the uh, in the Philadelphia National Guard, everything else, you know, whatever that unit is closest to Philly, you know, you guys, even though you may not have deployed yet, even though you may only have collectively a few months of training, don't worry. You have real bullets. <laughs> and you're not wearing body cams. Just fucking shoot. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, and you're not in that Krakistan, so you got a shot at a stateside kill, man. Hey, stateside <laughs> fucking kill. That's what I'm talking about. And just remember, just remember, you are the fucking United States military. Fuck that camera. Smash that bitch. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Butt straight to the lens, baby. That's Get right. <laughs> Just say you're not a cop. You smash that fucking camera. That's God, right. Me and this motherfucking shit. Fuck this shit's in my fucking way, boo, bitch. Blah! <laughs> I'm just saying, Tony, they're saying, yeah, five minutes of training. It's true, though. It's true, though. What? They train one week in a month, two weeks a year? Shit, I'm taking shit longer than that. God damn. I'm telling you. The Browns been, been, Browns been in more training than they have. Just saying. That, that's true. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, and Chris, you're right. We, we do have to hear it for the nasty girls up there. We do. We got to hear it for them. Because, you see, 
the National Guard is pivotal in this situation because the regular army would say, fuck it. We don't care. Let them destroy the shit. Law enforcement's problem. Law enforcement saying, well, fuck you, army. We got the fucking National Guard. Yes, the fuck you do. Call them every goddamn time. The army's number is 1-800-don't-fucking-call-me. We're watching the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Just say it, that or we're bored. One or the other. It goes either way in the military. You either love it, you hate it. I say fuck politics, leave it out of it. I'm going to watch the game. I just want to see somebody get hurt. Preferably Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, just, God. You know, I'm I not hating. Love to. I'm not hating. I just want to see I want to see. I want to see what Luke Kickley did to Tony Romo to fucking Tom Brady tonight. <laughs> That's how bad of an ass that like a finger that deserves. The What's that? No, I'm just what was that? Like a like a hand in the butthole? Is that what happened? Oh no, nah, man! Fuck, you took Tony <laughs> Romo. Oh for? no, I'm sorry, Johnny Manziel. Sorry, remember when Luke Kigley hit Johnny Manziel? I'm not fucking uh, uh, I ain't coming back. <laughs> I ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I swear to God, when Manziel when when the Panthers played against Manziel, I was like, please, please let Luke just get one good fucking hit. And not only did he get fucking Luke, but he got fucking Jones too. And the motherfucker got smashed. And he's like, yeah, I'm a bitch. I'm laying out. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> one, one thing reigns true in the military on Super Bowl Sunday. And unless that's been changed recently, because I was never lucky enough, never lucky enough to have the following Monday off. And you would think the chain of command would look at this and say, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Our guys are going to get fucked up. How about, you know, how about we just don't, uh, we just don't come in on Monday. You know, we just take a little three day weekend. But no, yeah. they want everyone to come in on Monday. You always got the one guy that's going to be drunk on duty. That was me. You know, I mean, you, you're just going to have that shit. It's going to happen. It, it comes with time. It should be a fucking holiday. You know, the military, we don't we don't need all the holidays we get. We don't celebrate some of them. But the Super Bowl should be one of them that we celebrate. Right. I agree. Just for the sheer fact that it would save on our – I'm telling you, it's just a good idea. It would. But then you, you have know? your tenant come in and it's like, uh-huh, they're going to party. They're going to get fucked up. We're going to make them puke the next morning. Come on. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> Assholes. You see, what the reason that is, the reason it is – is that the officers know that they can duck out of PT and they don't have to be there till first formation. So they're going to be sober by that time. And listen, people, we can't do that. You know, if I had that extra two more, that extra two hours, you know, in the morning to, to sober up a little bit, get a hot pocket or something in me, you know, some peanut butter, you know, I'm just saying I can fucking, I can show up to, you know, first formation square the fuck away. PT formation though that's pushing it. I mean, I'm not going to quit drinking until two, three in the morning. Why I got to be there at six? Right. <laughs> Just, saying. Just saying. Officers have that life. They can get away with that shit, man. We can't. Oh, that's it. I, 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 I agree. I agree. You know, I mean, I think the fields have got to, I think the field should change. I think some of the rules should change. And, you know, the one thing I don't think that should change, though, is, uh, you know, you should have got to watch out for the players and the head injuries. That's yeah. one of the things that I think the NFL did really well. And they made some good rules, you know, re regarding the helmet to helmet, stuff like that. I think you should keep that kind of like the UFC when they changed things up. And they decided, oh, we do need gloves. Yes, they don't have to be, you know, you don't have to have all the rules, but you do need some of the rules. You do right. need some of them. 